Hello everyone, Argon Matrix here, welcome you to episode 2 of Let's Play Diddy Kong Racing. And we're watching TT Waddle Pass now. <laughs> That's the funniest walk ever, I never really noticed that. Alright, so um, let's move on with the next race, I guess. We got like the first three done in the last time, in the last one, which was pretty good. And now we're doing Hot Top Volcano, which is one of my favorite courses because I just like fire areas in general. Uh, so thanks... Thank you all for, like, the very positive response that I got from the first episode of this. Uh, I didn't realize that so many of you had actually played this game in your childhood, and that you would actually relate to this. Because, honestly, that's gonna be a big part of this Let's Play, too, is, like, um... I'm gonna be telling, like, so many childhood stories and memories. In fact, I've probably already passed up a few on the courses that I've already gone through. But, that's just gonna be, like, a lot of what I talk about in this Let's Play. It's pretty much what's gonna be getting me through most of the commentary, most of the time. Alright, lap two, here we go. Uh, yeah, some of you also told me about this, like, neat little trick. Where, like, if you have to let go of the accelerator right before you hit one of the speed booster things. And then you'll, like, get a bigger speed boost. I know about that trick, I just don't like using it, because it makes it... It makes the game way too easy, in my opinion. And I just like the hardness of the game. Which sounds really kind of perverse, but whatever. Alright, man, these dinosaurs. I just love these dinosaurs. I really kind of hated them as a kid, I don't know, something about them, just like, the way their polygons are arranged is just, like, it's kind of scary, honestly, it's kind of ominous. So, and, like, I would sometimes, like, crash into the dinosaurs, and they make that, like, really scary, like, painful sound, which is, like, so, <laughs> it's so hard to describe, I don't, I don't even dare attempt doing it. But it's just, like, so frightening. <laughs> And I would just, and that, I don't know, that sound, and their, the way their eyes are positioned, it just like, oh, he might have made the sound there, I don't know if I crashed into him or not. Couldn't really hear it, I the volume on my TV turned so low, so that doesn't echo in the microphone or anything. Oh, yeah. Man. This freaking scene right here, too, you see this, like, so many times in the game, and as a kid, I didn't even know you could skip it, even though all you have to do is skip it is press A. But I have this scene, like, memorized in my mind now. Like... I have the music memorized, I have the, all the angles memorized, and I have, like, his voice memorized, that this is for you, or whatever. Ooh, we unlock the area boss, yes. Yeah, each of the areas is gonna have a boss they have to guess, that they have to race against, and after you beat the boss, then something interesting happens. And I love all the bosses in this game, they're so fun. <laughs> oh my goodness. They all have the most awesome voices too. It's like this game's just like perfect in almost every aspect. I know I've been like, like I've been doing nothing but like praise this game and like orgasm over it this whole time in these first two episodes, but it's just like I don't know. It just feels like so perfect, perfectionized or something. All right, so let's hit hit, hit this guy in the bum with a rocket. Oh no, he's he's crushed me. Damn it! <laughs> I hate it when that happens. When you like hit him and then you like try to drive under him. But he's so big that he just like comes down so fast and you don't expect it and he just crushes you. Oh man. Oh yeah, so this this uh, racetrack is kind of different from the ones we've seen so far. This one you just have to like go from the start to the finish instead of in like three laps. Uh, there's two bosses like that. Well, oh yeah, just two. Just two. Oh, for a minute I thought there was a third one, but then I realized I was mistaken. Okay. This freaking spiral mountain. As a kid, I didn't know you could do like sharp turns. So like, once you get to like the very top of this mountain, it starts to get like really steep. Oh my god, <laughs> dude, dude, I should have taken the shortcut there. Oh well, yeah, there is a shortcut in this level. Like once you get to the top, it starts to get like like the turns start to get really tight. And so like, if you don't do sharp turns, you're most likely gonna fall right off the edge. And that's what ended up happening to me most of the time. And it's so sad when you fall off the edge because like just like it takes like one second, it shows you falling, and then it's like fades to black, and it's just like, and then you're just like outside the door, and it's like, whoa, what happened? All right, oh, he slows down right there. That's your like opportunity to pass him, I guess. He's not too bad, not too bad at all. Uh, he's very egotistical though, with his big golden statue of his face up here. Jeez. Uh oh. Oh, here's the big stinker of the game. And win! <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, just the way he emphasizes and win is so funny. Uh, okay, Mr. 
perverted pedo genie, whatever. <laughs> Try pressing break when skidding. Yeah, that's how you do a sharp turn. But of course, me being a kid, I didn't read those, so I didn't know how to do that. Alright, so now you'll see that all of these courses are again unlocked for you to play. And this time, we have to collect silver coins in the race, which is what makes this game really challenging. Like, these first few courses, they're not so bad with the silver coins. They're, they're rather nice with them. But, like, later on, it's just like, oh my god. Alright. Yeah, so we have to collect these silver Nintendo 64 coins. And, yeah, that's about it. Alright, I think that there's one around here. Yep. Oh, dude, dude, I missed it, though. Oh, I missed it. Right. Yeah, this freaking dinosaur too, the one that crushed me in the first episode. Oh yeah, he makes that scary noise if you crash into him too. Mm -hmm. Dude, I did I just collect both of those blue balloons at the same time? I've never done that. I've always tried to do that. I have always like just tried, but I've never actually succeeded in picking up like two balloons that are adjacent to each other at the same time. It's ridiculous. <laughs> right. Yeah, so as you can see, it's not too hard to get all the silver coins, at least on this one. Uh, but the big thing is that you have to win also. You have to AND win! And that's just like... <laughs> it's just such a big pain in the ass sometimes. Man. These freaking trees, man. Even just the trees, I'm just like looking at the trees, and they're just bringing back all these memories of like crashing into trees, and the funny sound that it makes when you crash into trees. It's like... <laughs> it's like so ridiculously happy, but it's just like, you're crashing and you're slowing down, so you're frustrated about it. Actually, this is the next course, isn't it? Yep. So you're like frustrated about it, but the noise is just so jubilant. It's just like, wow. <laughs> you can't be mad at it. It's hard to get mad at this game and stay mad at this game. Well, sometimes it is. Sometimes it's not hard at all, because you get pissed off about everything. Did I, actually, I did actually collect that silver coin. That's kind of surprising. Uh, there's one silver coin that kind of got me the first time on through here. It's this one over here, because you have to like speed off. You actually actually take the shortcut. Normally, they don't make you take the shortcuts for the silver coins, but sometimes they do. Uh, and if you don't know that, they, that it's there, then it can be kind of like, how am I supposed to get that? Because like, sometimes you can see it, even if you don't, don't take the shortcut. Dude, I collected both those balloons again! How did I do that? I don't know. Wow, I collected all the silver coins on the first lap? That's just ridiculous, but now I have to AND WIN! So, I might not be able to do it. But I'm relatively far ahead of them, so it's fine. Uh, but I can tell you, later on in some of the courses, because, like, because as, I, as a kid, I didn't know that you could do the the green boost, like the like the super speed boost where you let go of the thing right before you hit a booster. And I also didn't know you could do the sharp turns. Getting the silver coins was a bitch for me. Like, it was just so ridiculously hard. Because, like, some of the silver coins are in such tight turns that you, ha that you almost have to know how to do the sharp turns. Or else you have to turn, like, five million minutes in advance in order to, like, get it. And then some of the, and like sometimes when you get all the silver coins, you're so far behind that you're gonna have to use that boost, and in order to win. But I don't know. Somehow I beat this game without I, I, the dude, dude, without ever using either of those techniques. So it's definitely possible. Or shoot into the sun. Oh, I missed. Oh well. That's another first. Oh yeah, this scene gets old after a while. Well, it never gets old because it's just so jubilant. It's so jubilant, but whatever. All right. Um. Jeez, am I am I really only up to like? I'm only up to like nine and a half minutes, I think. Hopefully, my timer's not off. It has been off in the in like recent recordings. It's kind of weird. Man, I didn't think I would actually be going through this all this fast. It's just like so much to talk about. Like this course, even like right here, it's just like, man. When I was a kid, like, you see that, like, passage that, like, goes above this one? And it's like, holy crap, how do you get up there? And I was, like, trying all these stupid things as a kid. I was trying to, like, drive up the walls with my car in order to get into that passage up there. And it's just like, it's not possible, dude. You need the plane to fly in there. But you can only use the plane in time trial mode. So it's like, dude. It was just, like, taunting me. And I remember, like, spending, like, so long just trying to do that. It was just ridiculous. And me and my sister used to play this game a lot too, like I would like race against her and everything. 
and we like work together in order to try and uh, in order to try and get it. Uh, I think if you do have like another person to play with, it there is like a co-op adventure mode, and it's kind of cool. Uh, I don't think it's like actually like, co-op like you race at the same time, if I remember. I think you have you like alternate racing, but in the mini games you get to like fight against each other, which is really awesome. I remember there's one mini game in particular that me and my sister like even after we completed it for for the first time and got the amulet shard or whatever, we would just keep playing it so much because it was so fun. Of course, we would get really mad at each other because like we kept kicking each other's asses. Oh well. All right, so now hot top volcano. Uh, oh, another thing that I need to mention about the adventure two, like I had mentioned, I mentioned that in the previous episode, and how like the AI is like smarter and faster in that in that adventure, and that all the courses are mirrored. Something else is that all of the silver coins have been moved, and they're in like a lot more difficult locations to get. It's like ridiculous how hard it is. I was trying that like the other day just to see how it was, and it's just like, oh my god, like how. <laughs> How brutal can you be with the placing of those things? It's just horrendous. Like, I, could, I couldn't even find some of them on my first run-throughs. I had to, like, go backwards through the course in order to find some of them. It was just insane. Alright. Oh, uh, this one's not actually that hard, either. Really, this first, this whole first world is not that hard. But the second world, like, once you get into, like, the snow world, then it starts to become a little bit more challenging. And the third world is like the water world, and that even gets like even harder, especially with the boss. Oh my god, the boss. And then the fourth world is just, well, we'll see about that then. Oh my god, the fourth world. It can be it can be a bitch sometimes, but it can also be really easy depending on how lucky you get. Alright, here we go. I suppose I could show this extra boost, like see, see you let go and then it does that. And it's, it's like a nice rainbow smoke. Dude, I'm missing one. I am missing a. S where? Do I? Oh, I have to go around here. Yeah, okay. Because <laughs> I kept taking the shortcut every time. Didn't even realize I was missing one. Right now I've got all of them, so I have to end win. Yep. All right. Oh. Wait, listen to this. Man, I love that noise that happens when you like use the triple boost. It's just like so satisfying. It's like. <laughs> That's my imitation of that noise. It actually does sound like a rocket launching. And it's just like so, it's, it makes you feel like you're going so fast, even though you're not really going that fast. Alright, so that's all the silver coins. And after you do that, you're going to have to go ahead and race the boss again. But it's going to be a little bit more challenging this time. Oh, uh, but you know what? I think I'm going to have to... Oh man, I still have a little bit of time. You know what? I, th I, know, what I, I know what I can do. If you just exit this place, then what should happen, depending on how many balloons you have, I think I have enough. Yes, okay. Taj the Genie here, I think that's his name. Oh man, I, I kind of talked over his dialogue there. I love that, the way he says that though. Alright, so, hover, wait, hover challenge? Um, okay. <laughs> We're supposed to do the car challenge first, I don't know what happened to that. But. I don't know. Alright, so sometimes, like, when you, like, exit an area, he'll challenge you to a race, and the races are, like, ridiculously easy, but they are so fun, because, like, especially the music, just, like, listen to this music. Oh, man. Such fun music. Holy crap, I just heard the fire alarm go off upstairs. I hope nothing's, like, bad. I hope I didn't screw up anything. I know I didn't leave anything in the oven, because they didn't put anything in the oven. Alright. Man, the hovercraft, the hovercraft is not really fun to control, especially on those sharp turns, you know. Like, the hovercraft just loses all its momentum on the sharp turns, unless you actually, like, do a sharp turn by skidding and braking. Then it's rather fine, but otherwise, just forget about it. Oh, yeah. These are, like, some of the most fun races in the whole game here, the ones against the genie. It's just, like, ridiculously fun, I don't know. Like, I remember as a kid, I would just, like, do this just for fun. Partially just to see these, like, floating flags in the sky, because I, I like the look of them, honestly. I like how they're, like, still somehow 3D, but yet 2D. They're kind of like the Pokies in Super Mario 64. How, like, you can look them from any angle and they'll look the same. It's kind of fun. Oh, yeah. But as you can see on the minimap down there, we are ridiculously far ahead of him. Oh, there's no, there's no sense worrying about and winning in this one. We're just going to... We're gonna do it, no matter what. 
Oh, at least you don't have to collect silver coins against this guy. That would be crazy, man. That would be kind of fun, actually. He'd be like, collect all eight silver coins and win! <laughs> that was a horrible interpretation of his voice, but... Bye bye for now. I do. I just love all of his sentences. Like the way he says it, it's just so much fun. All right, so let's collect this balloon. Collect this balloon, please. Oh, these controls are so floaty in the hovercraft, dude. Okay, come on, seriously. Thank you. Okay. All right, so next time, I guess. Oh wait. <laughs> I love that. I love how, like, when you go up next to him, you can hear him, like, singing the music, going like, doo, 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 doo. It's so funny. Yeah, that's cool how, like, the music changes depending on where you are. Okay, but that's enough. I'm up to, like, 16 minutes here, so I think it's time to end it off. Next time, I suppose we'll probably finish off the dino domain up there, and I'll tell you more exuberant stories. Trust me, there's a lot to be told. I don't really have that many about dino domain, because I kind of rushed through as a kid, but in the future... There are many more memories to be shared, and I hope you will enjoy enjoy them. Alright, so let's just stare over at Wiz Pig's wooden face as I say thank you everyone for watching, and until next time, this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you, and good night.